And welcome back. Well, sports fans are happy to see live sports again on TV, and there is no doubt cheering for a team or a player can bring people together, and maybe some more than others. And that's fair to say. And joining us now is author, she's an attorney, and A-game lifestyle advisor, J.C. Ellis. Good morning <laughs> to you, J.C. Hey, hey J.C. Hey, Katie. Hey, Tiffany. Good to see you. I love how we're saying the A-game part here. It's good to see you, too, and you look gorgeous. Oh, bless your heart. No blowing hair today. I turned <laughs> off my fan. I see that. <laughs> I see that. You look fantastic. All right, let's talk about this first because I have to admit that I'm very impressed, maybe especially with women here in Wisconsin, how much they know about sports, perhaps most about the Green Bay Packers. Football. But you say it's good to know a little bit, at least, about sports, even if maybe you're not as interested as some people. Exactly. I think sports is a universal language, right? And I mean, Milwaukee is a sports powerhouse. You've got the Bucks, you've got the Brewers, you've got the Packers, right? So you need to be able to talk the language because number one, even if you don't play sports, I think it just makes you a better conversationalist. One of my, my first job out of college, I, I worked with this guy, senior executive, and he was, you know, very successful, but a bit of a jerk. And one of the things he told me, which I listened to was he's like, you should read the sports pages. So when we go on sales calls, you can add some value to some of those conversations. And I thought, okay. So I started reading them and then became more interested in sports than I had been. I love that you say that because truthfully, a lot of, a lot of people could hear that and be like, that's super sexist. I can add value in other ways. And I love the fact that you're like, no, you know what? Hey, if I, if I want to, if I want to read the sports page and learn a little bit, why not? So I, I love that you took that advice. You're like, I'm going to do something with it. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to break down a couple of the basics in each of the sports things. And if you take it, you take it. And if you like it, you like it. So let's start with baseball. Exactly. So one of the basic things you should understand is there are two leagues, American League and the National League. Um, you really want to understand the scoring, right? So that's a basic thing, how runners advance, you know. And, and now you can Google pretty much anything and you yeah. can video pretty much anything, right? So there's really no excuse. And baseball is one of those sports. It's on television all the time. It's America's favorite pastime, although some would argue football is kind of creeping up. Um, but you do want to understand how many players are on the field, you know, offense versus defense, and just basic rules, like how the runners advance, you know, getting into things like a bunt, uh, a double play might be a little more advanced, but just some basic baseball rules, like where's the strike zone, how many players there are, what the lineup is, that sort of thing. I always think And who your home team is. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> that helps. But also the, the names of the marquee players, I think, is key. I mean, there are some things you're going to get extra credit for, like what a balk is, for example. But you mm -hmm. should maybe know some of the stars. You got it. Exactly. And again, I just think it makes, because we can talk, as women, we can talk about a whole lot of stuff. But I found, personally, for me, when I was able to add kind of sports lingo, to my vernacular. I mean, I was already pretty interesting and it just made me even more <laughs> interesting and more engaging because people would be shocked. Like, you know, somebody said, you know, what's the battery on the baseball team? And I was like, it's the pitcher and the catcher. They looked at me like I was a genius. Like, how did I know? That? I grew up watching baseball, you know, the Chicagoan, the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. So, That's right. I like you know, it. All right, what about the fundamentals of football? Because I think this is a game that a lot of people, not just women, not just everybody, finds a little bit complicated. Exactly. So the first thing my dad explained to me, I used to watch football with my dad all the time. He's a huge Bears fan. Um, and he explained to me what a first down was. And so at first I didn't get it because I was maybe eight or nine. And then he's like, no, it's 10 yards. And if they don't advance 10 yards, it's a second down plus whatever they need to get to 10. And so once he broke it down, it was basic math. I was like, oh, I got it. And so I watched football with him with more interest because I understood what was going on. And then he would explain other things to me, like what offsides was, you know, the scoring, like a touchdown is only is six and you get an extra point. A field goal is three. So that kind of stuff started making more sense and it became more fun for me. And I became a football fan because somebody explained the basics. So I like to understand things and not just watch it and not know what's going on. Love it. How about basketball? Because, I mean, we love our basketball here, especially with the Bucks right now and Giannis. Yeah, exactly. So basic things in basketball, again, the scoring, you know, how many people can be on the floor at a time, um, you know, the difference between a two-point shot 
and a three point shot depends upon where you're standing, you know, why you can't, they can't stand in the key. You'll see them under the basket moving in and out because they don't want to get um, a three second violation because they can't be in that paint, right? The key more than three seconds. So they move around a bit. Um, you know, what a backcourt violation is. You have so much time to bring the ball over. You only have so much time to score. So they'll, they might get a 24 second shot violation. So obviously we don't have in five minutes, we don't have time to truly educate on all of the different nuances, but there's some basics that if you, again, understand that it'll make viewing it a lot more fun. And again, Milwaukee has amazing sports teams. So who doesn't want to watch it and be able to understand what's going on, right? I agree. And we yeah. ran out of time, but I think your last point is about golf and it's very well taken. You say it's as important as a life skill as learning swimming, uh, but golf is great. I think even if you can play just to have fun, like in a scramble, but you're maybe not necessarily good at it or super practiced, but it's a great sport because there's a lot of business conversation that goes on at a golf course. So thank you so much, JC, for Thanks, joining JC. us. Yes. My pleasure.